Mojang have a list of Minecraft ideas they'll never add to the game, so I've added in all of them, and today we'll take a look. Subscribe and let's look at the blocks, mobs, items, and even biomes that Mojang just won't give you. Number one, when you're in a cave and run out of torches, it would be nice to have some kind of light source to carry around, like a miner's hat for example. Well, Mojang confirmed that these are too modern for Minecraft, even though we've already got complicated electric systems and the ability to travel between dimensions. Okay, but what about just lighting up the area around you while holding a torch? They don't seem to like that idea either, even though it's technically already possible through mods. Number two, another underground idea that Mojang banned from being in the game are ghost miners. These were actually considered for being added to the game, but then rejected. The ghosts of previous miners would have been found in caves and led you to diamonds, gold, or even secret loot. Imagine you're alone underground and hear someone mining in a nearby cave, but you're on single player. To be honest, I'm surprised these were even considered in the first place. Number three, you know what I like to look at more than anything else? Myself. Which is why it's a shame that Mojang rejected the idea of adding mirrors. These could have been made out of silver just like in real life, but the developers won't add that as there's already iron instead. Luckily, mirrors are in the RTX version of Minecraft, allowing you to create the illusion of an infinite room. Finally, you can make your diamond collection look a little bit more impressive. Number four, beds are some of the most useful blocks in the entire game. I mean, how else are you going to escape the phantoms? But when you're out in the wilderness, a sleeping bag might look better next to your campfire. These could allow you to sleep without forcing you to set your spawn point there, or they could not blow up in the end. However, beds are a unique type of block and Mojang wants to keep it that way. Number five, a biome that Mojang rejected is the Redwood Forest. Apparently, these are too similar to the Mega Tiger biome, so there's no chance of us getting redwood logs or planks. Also, roofed forests could have had tree houses for the unused Illusioner mob, which is coded into the game but never spawns in and doesn't have a spawn egg. The mob might get added, but they don't like the treehouse idea. Adding a chest to witch huts will never happen either, because they're currently fine. Number six. Speaking of chests, ever think there isn't enough space in your ender chest? Wouldn't it be nice if you could just do this? Or maybe stack them to create even more space? These would allow you to keep so many emergency supplies, but they say they won't add any of these ideas or anything similar. When ender chests were first added, there was only one inventory for an entire server. This meant that anyone could see what's inside, so at least we all have our own personal ender chest. Number seven, we've already got the target block for your redstone circuits, but Mojang will never add a timer block to Minecraft. They'll also never add a timer item, command, or even an enchantment that uses a timer. They haven't said why, and they're about to run out of time. Number eight, cake is lovely, but wouldn't it be nice to have another kind of food that you can place down and take bites from? This would be great for pumpkin pie, and people have been asking for this since it was first added nine years ago. Unfortunately, this will never happen, because Jeb was like, nah, cake is special. They won't be adding any prepared food items like pizza either. They even said that poisonous potatoes will never have any actual use, even though it would be interesting to see what they would do to a potion. Number nine, you can get plenty of different types of horse armor, so it would make sense for Mojang to add more types of saddle other than leather ones. They actually did add a horse saddle, which could be crafted like this and stacked up to 32, but it was removed two weeks later in favor of using normal saddles on horses and pigs. Mojang have since said that they're not going to add any new types of saddle. Don't know why they've got to be such a about it. Number 10. There are quite a few types of villager in Minecraft, but there isn't one that sells redstone components. And guess what? There never will be. This type of villager would be very useful as you wouldn't have to go mining when you run out of redstone or have to smelt down a bunch of cobblestone when you need another repeater. Colored lamps were also rejected, but would have looked really quite nice. Number 11. The reason for rejecting this one is that it inhibits creativity. Is it A. Removing wooden planks from the game. B. Completely changing the way redstone works. Or C. A new boss that destroys most of your world. It's actually none of those. The team seem to think that furniture stops people from being creative. It makes some sense. Having to make a chair with stairs and a few signs is a little bit more creative. It's an odd reason and this is definitely not as comfortable. Number 12. So you're walking through a forest minding your own business and then you come across this. A skeleton lying on the ground. Could it be the decaying remains of a previous adventurer or will it spring into life and attack? This would add a lot to the mystery of a survival world but was deemed as not a fit for Minecraft. Number 13. This next one was actually shown in a trailer for a Minecraft update, but Mojang had to make a statement confirming that this was a mistake and will not be coming to Minecraft. Look, there it is. Bluestone. Yeah, Mojang tricked us all and made us think that Bluestone was coming to the Village and Pillage update. How do you accidentally animate a totally new item texture? We know now that it didn't come in the update, and they've said that they 
won't be adding an alternate redstone system and will instead continue adding to the readily available red redstone. Number 14. Okay, this one wasn't fully rejected, so we might get it one day, but it's just not very likely. Mushroom biomes and islands could have mushroom villages. Currently, they just have their plains biome outfit in mushroom biomes, and houses don't normally spawn there. The designs could be interesting, with village houses on mushrooms or even made out of mushrooms. Number 15. This rejection kind of makes sense. They didn't like the suggestion that staring at the sun, just like in real life, should give you a blindness effect. The only way to get this effect currently is from the unused illusioner or from a specific type of suspicious stew. The thirst bar was also rejected, since it would just be too much to manage with the hunger bar as well. Number 16. A potion concept that won't be added is the potion of silence. This would make your footsteps no longer audible, meaning that they don't affect skulk sensors and the warden mob won't be able to hear them. There are also certain potions that you can't craft, like the uncraftable potion for example. Levitation potions don't even exist. Jeb says that this is because every potion must have a tipped arrow version, and that would be pretty nasty. Number 17. You know how the blacksmith's workstation isn't an anvil? It would make more sense to have one here instead of stone slabs or a grindstone, right? Dinnerbone confirmed this will never be one because of how easy it would make obtaining the anvil. They want it to be something hard to obtain for later in the game, so giving it to you as soon as you walk into a village would be as crazy as giving you free diamonds in villages. Oh wait. Number 18. Boats are great, but what if you could make a stronger type that doesn't break when you crash into things and doesn't burn in lava? Dream doesn't really care that wooden boats burn in lava, so why should Mojang? Since striders were added, they decided that lava boats are useless. The obsidian boat was added to an April Fool's update, but this was clearly a joke as it just sank when you tried to place it in water. Number 19. We've got spider jockeys. We've got chicken jockeys. Dolphin jockeys don't sound too far-fetched, but it says in bold right here, no taming and riding dolphins. It's a shame, but it would be unrealistic. Because, as we all know, baby zombies ride chickens in real life. Speaking of babies, baby dolphins will never be added to Minecraft either. Number 20. Just like furniture, vertical slabs inhibit natural creativity. Don't tell Mojang about the glitch with walls. Combined slabs would be cool too, but they're also bad. And don't tell Mojang about this glitch at the world border either. Number 21. After you reach the end, eyes of ender don't have much of a use other than making ender chests. Throwing the ender eye can fly directly towards the dragon and cause a large blast, like a bed. Mojang say that this doesn't make sense, probably because the ender dragon battle might be a little too easy. I don't think Dream would have much of a problem with it. Eyes of ender could direct you to nearby end cities instead, which would be a genuinely cool feature, but it's too much for the game to process. Number 22. Redstone doesn't go up walls. I mean, it is redstone dust after all. It's not a wire like we're used to in real life. So it's obvious why Mojang won't be adding the ability for redstone to go up walls. And they won't be adding this type of redstone paste either. Wait, if redstones are dust, how does this work then? Number 23. You can make armor with leather, iron, gold, diamond, and netherite, but why not emerald or copper? Copper armor would look pretty cool turning from a shiny brown color to a light turquoise one that you could trick people into thinking is actually diamond. But you guessed it, Mojang don't want to do that. The idea of chains making chainmail armor has also been considered and rejected for some reason. When netherite armor was first being added, it was considered for it to have trims, but the lead artist wanted to keep it one color like the other armor sets. Number 24. Villagers have iron golems roaming around, but what do the illagers have? I guess they do have the ravager, but wouldn't it be better for them to have an illager golem? Mojang thought of this too and added it to the game. I'm joking. Of course they didn't. The idea was rejected. Number 25. Sometimes you want to use wooden planks to build, but they're just not the right color. The ability to dye planks into the right shade or paint them like you would in real life would be cool to have. No up will ever add dyeable or paintable wood because the current limitations are by design. Which basically means just make concrete instead. Number 26. You've probably thought that crafting tables or anvils should let you combine an elytra with your favorite chest plate. Strength and the ability to fly around to your heart's content. The reason this idea was cut is that part of using an item as OP as an elytra is that you have to give up part of your armor. Maybe a good trade instead would be spending a huge number of levels, but Mojang still don't want you to be able to do this. Number 27. It says right here on the Minecraft suggestions page, please do not suggest players having relationships or making babies with villagers. Yeah, not sure I really wanted to. Just like my crush, Mojang rejected this relationship idea. They also said that villagers won't ever build, follow you, or fight for you, since villagers are pacifists. Number 28. You probably make a few mistakes while building, with some being a little bit too hard to fix. What if you could just undo your failed build and revert to the previous day? Minecraft's already got transporting between three alternate dimensions, so time travel is actually reasonable. Not to the game's creators though. An undo button will never be coming to Minecraft, and that includes time travel as well. Number 29. Minecraft has desert pyramids already, but you know what pyramids are supposed to have that Minecraft doesn't? Mummies. These bandaged up zombies 
mummies are too similar to husks according to Mojang. That's the reason there aren't mummies in pyramids, but surely there should be husks in there instead then. Actually, the TNT has done enough damage too many times. Number 30. As hard as you may try, there will never be a way to break bedrock. Wait, you already can through a glitch? Well, they also scrapped the idea of having any biomes below bedrock, or the ability to get to the nether by digging through the bedrock ceiling. Instead, they just moved bedrock lower in the caves and cliffs update. I guess that works. Number 31. Ever thought a feature from a mod was a really good idea? We have Mo creatures to thank for horses, the piston mod for pistons, and even more. Mojang even wanted to add Optifine to vanilla Minecraft, but the mod creators said no. A few mods features may have been implemented into the main game in the past, but they say that they'll never do it again. I was hoping that they'd add my texture pack. It's beautiful. Aww. Number 32. You're in a desert mining sand and then the weather starts to change. You set on fire in the intense heat and need to quickly find water to cool off. Biome dependent weather effects like that one that damage the player are not coming to Minecraft. A developer said that they don't create things that damage your hard work without making it preventable, which is why they've now added the copper lightning rod, so that lightning doesn't cause this to happen. That was definitely lightning, not me. Number 33. A lot of people get chickens confused with ducks. If you've been playing for a long time, you've probably called these ducks at least once. So real ducks won't be added, as they're not all they're quacked up to be. That's Mojang's joke. Blame them for that one. Number 34. He's been removed in nearly every update. Apart from 1.17, but that doesn't mean he's being added. In fact, he's on the list of things that will never be in Minecraft. Except they don't mention him by name, so I guess we'll never know for sure. Herobrine's never been in the game and never will be. Number 35. Mojang have a very strong rule that nothing political will ever be added to the game. Oh no. They can't add Lamanberg. Number 36. All hostile mobs in Minecraft need to be fantasy creatures, which means that Mojang don't want to add any realistic sharks, even though these are suggested very often. They've also said that they will never add alligators or crocodiles, even though there was an alligator in the secret Chinese mob vote that you can learn more about in this video here. So watch that and subscribe!